Hi, uh, my name is Mike Byrne. I'm the Director of Partner Evolution here at AVG. And today's quick tutorial is going to be on our new product, AVG Business's SSO. Um, SSO combines the latest of identities as a service for mobile device management technologies into one simplified user-centric management platform. With AVG Business SSO, MSPs can locate, lock, white mobile devices and deploy management applications across virtually all devices. With AVG Business's unique integration of Microsoft Active Directory makes implementation in Office 365 environments extremely simple. Uh, customers, employees will appreciate having just one password for all of their business and personal applications. Clients will appreciate also having role-based privileges and controls uh, and reporting for their entire organization. More effective and efficient employees with fewer support calls for lost passwords and the tracking and reporting that will support regulatory compliance standards is key. What I'd like to do right now is take a quick tour through the product and highlight some of the key features that will resonate really, really well with our partner base. So I'll just log in right now simply using my email address. On the login screen, you will have noticed, in addition to my username and password, um, I was prompted to select from the drop-down list an additional authentication process, hence the multi-factor authentication. Uh, the default method that I chose was an email to be sent to my account. Once I opened and clicked that email, the authentication happened and I logged in very simply. Again, one of the key points with our Active Directory integration and turnkey provisioning for 365, it makes provisioning and deprovisioning Office 365 extremely simple. Once we're actually in AVG's business SSO, uh, there are two key dashboards, core dashboards that people will interact with. One is the user dashboard. That's where the actual users will access their applications. Uh, there's also the management dashboard. So what we're looking at right now on the screen are all the various apps that would be available potentially to an end user. To access the, the management dashboard, you would click up on your name and you'd switch to the cloud manager. It's really straightforward. Uh, the default screen is always the user dashboard. Um, and as I highlighted, to access the admin dashboard, all you have to simply do is click on your name on the right-hand corner of the menu, and you can toggle between the end user and the administrator dashboard or the cloud manager from there. Uh, to use a default wizard that is located when you switch to the cloud manager to set up mobile device management, add apps and users is really straightforward. We'll walk you through the wizard in a few quick steps. The first section of the quick start wizard is simply adding devices. Whether they're mobile, iOS, it doesn't really matter. When we click to the next tab, this is where you can select all the applications you want to enable SSO on web-based applications for PCs and so on. Typical types of applications an employee would use through the, their day-to-day -day workings like PeopleSoft or Salesforce.com, any of those apps that they need access to. On the quick start wizard, this is where you can select all of the applications you want to enable for the SSO on mobile devices. On the fourth tab of the Quick Start Wizard, this is where we can manage users within SSO. Um, for all the web-based and mobile applications, you can add, change, delete. You can also import large groups of users from various formats such as Excel and CSV, which makes SSO extremely simple for larger organizations to quickly deploy and manage those devices across their organization. And finally, after setting up all your organization's access through the mobile devices as well as their web-based applications, the last step of the Quick Start Wizard allows you to send all the invitations to these applications through the wizard itself. And finally, with the Quick Start Wizard, as you can see, you've now provisioned all access through AVG's business SSO to your users. They can now access those applications securely on their mobile devices, as well as their web-based applications. It's extremely simple. So to summarize, with AVG Business SSO, you get cloud-based single sign-on. You get multi-factor authentication, mobile device management, you have one of the easiest methods of managing Active Directory, and it's highly flexible in terms of policy management and compliance.